Hi guys, today we have this case, it's a um, Vita case, shader 3L1.5, implant bridge, lowers again and today I already applied some um, of the neck porcelain underneath, neck is this two 50-50. Yeah, this is interesting case because the midlines, they are not the same. You see where the midline is from the upper and that's where from the lower. I don't know that why the metal is like that, but I guess it's been on a trying and came back to a layer for the finish. The doctor didn't want any tissue in this case, which would be nice, but I gotta do it the way that we gotta do it. Shade is simple, only a 3 and one so nothing special. I'm gonna try to make a couple videos with the simple shades because I was going, you know, too overboard with all my <laughs> weird shading. Now I'm applying um, these two luminaries, two and six, to hide my um, crowns, the metal edge of them. And I'm using a little bit of a different brush my um other one i got all very old it's two years old and the the golden covering got off and my fingers become black from rubbing on this exposed gray metal so i'm not gonna be using that anymore i think looking for a new brush i've been uh thought that um, that smile line RSPT is a very good brush but um, it's pretty expensive like $91 online that I found I don't know is it worth buying I want something that is uh, synthetic because it's easier to take care of I'm not good at taking care of my brushes. I once I had like a, I had this Kalinsky's and um, then you see what happened to that. <laughs> I had a couple of them like this one and, and another one. You see, not very good. All split. Not easy to work with. So I'm all for the synthetic brushes. They serve much better and for much longer time. So now I'm gonna apply um, regular dentine. By the way, in the neighboring teeth you can see very well where the root starts. Right here and on this one. Right here. So that is good to know when you're building up until where to build your uh, crown. And then there is the root. Okay, so now that the um, dentin is built, I'm gonna do a small cutback. Okay, and that's what it looks like after the cut back. Now I'm gonna layer a little bit of uh, opal translucent on the both sides. On mesial and on the distal. And then I'm gonna take my T5 which is kind of like bluish translucent porcelain and I'm gonna layer it over here in the middle and then finally make two small cuts like this and over there I'm gonna layer this one, T8. I just kinda wanna see what's gonna happen. 
you know all of this is um, not essential not necessary but i just want to experiment today a little bit you can completely skip that part just um lay like t1 regular translucent um or even a window on the mesial and distal and cover it all up with the um, enamel but i want to see what's gonna happen if i do this you know i have no picture too much today so <laughs> that's why i'm in this mood to experiment all right and in the end i'm gonna cover everything with the uh, enamel one Okay, so this is it at this point, and um, I'm gonna put it to bake, and I'll see you after bake. Okay, so um, the bridge is in the oven, and this is the cycle that I used, uh, it's called IRT, infrared something drying cycle and um, I usually use it for m for my um, glaze program but this time I decided to use it for this hopefully it's gonna make it better okay uh, we'll see what's gonna come out okay guys this is the case after glaze so this is it in bite what it looks like and uh, this is it next to it's it next to the shade guide I think it came out alright I did the uh, roots again because here in this lab if doctor didn't ask for the tissue we don't do tissue because you know we charge them for that so i just did the uh, roots in this case and uh, yeah that's what it looks like i think it's a nice uh, vita bridge let me know what you think and uh, i think we had enough of the <laughs> lower fronts i'm gonna take a break from this kind of cases all right thank you for watching like this video subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye, -bye.